Now, the attorney for the family of Michael Brown, an African-American shot dead by the U.S. police, is raising questions about what he fears to as secret legal proceedings in the case. The attorney also warned of possible unrest if the grand jury doesn't indict the white officer involved in the shooting. Nobody's saying he's guilty and to prove an innocent, but we thought it would be better for everybody here that they saw all the evidence, all the witnesses, and that there was cross-examination of all the evidence and all the witnesses. So whatever decision that was handed down, people would accept. There's a great concern that because of this secret proceeding that people will not be so accepting of whatever decision the grand jury makes. The grand jury, which is meeting in secret, is hearing from final witnesses and is expected to reach a decision this month. It will either indict Darren Wilson, the white officer who shot and killed the unarmed teenager, or will decide that he shouldn't be tried on criminal charges. The shooting of Brown in August set off weeks of protests in Ferguson, Missouri. As the grand jury is reaching the end of its process, the Brown family lawyers are urging a restraint from both the police and the people. We want to encourage all of those that support the justice for Mike Brown to remain vigilant, yet peaceful, calm, and dignified as we await and after we receive the announcement of the grand jury decision. We also feel that it is equally important to implore law enforcement to exercise reasonable restraints when dealing with demonstrators. There have been too many reports of excessive behavior and agitation by police officers. Earlier we were joined by Ashira Adwoa, the Vice Chairwoman of All African People's Development and Empowerment, for more on the legal proceedings regarding the shooting of the African-American teenager. And I think that we are seeing censorship because this continues to go on in our community. Black people are being shot and killed, and the police officers receive nothing, not even a slap on the wrist. And the grand jury um, has uh, uh, been going over the evidence and hearing the testimonies, and from what we're being told, the police officer's testimony, Darren Wilson, is already carrying more weight with the grand jury than the five-plus witnesses that witnessed Darren Wilson shoot Mike Brown and kill him in the middle of the Canfield Street in Ferguson, Missouri. Uh, most of us know that these police officers are killing our people, as I stated, and nothing is being done about this. Um, people are tired. Uh, the, the Mike Brown family, uh, his parents went to the UN this week to speak about what is going on in Ferguson. And I just hope that they also enlighten the audience to let them know that Ferguson is here in Houston, Texas. Ferguson is in uh, California. Ferguson is all over this country. And so I think that they're trying to hide this. This is why we're not being able to hear what is being said, although so many leaks have uh, been revealed. 